got cussed out today because I wouldn't pay for a stranger's groceries. Where do you draw the line with charity? I was at Kmart earlier today, picking up something for work. I was standing at the checkout line with a few other people I don't know. At the front of the line was a woman buying a 12 pack of beer, some bananas, a Hunger Games DVD, and some Halloween candy. After the cashier hung her up, the woman realized she was short $11, and instead of putting something back, she turned around and asked the rest of us in line to pony up the $11, to be charitable. When nobody handed over the money, the woman began cussing us all out, you call yourselves ducking Christians. Where's your charity? Uh-ls. With that she left her groceries at checkout, and stormed out of the store. See if this woman were buying baby formula or diapers, and was a dollar or two short, and displayed a bit of humility, I would have no problem handing it over. This woman was expecting everybody else to put their needs aside, and to just fork over the money, for a case of beer and a teeny bopper movie, no less. I was in Chicago a few years ago, with my husband, my daughter, and her fiancé. We went to Giordano's for pizza. Anyway, we ordered way too much food, and the pizza, when it arrived was like 2 inch thick. We'd had so many starters that we could only eat one piece each of the two pizzas, so we got to go boxes. As we were walking along, this woman came up and told us she was really hungry, and could we help her out by giving her some money. Well, we didn't have any cash on us, but we did have this lovely still warm pizza. We offered her one of the to-go boxes, but she got all insulted and told us she didn't want our ducking pizza, she wanted money. We told her to duck off, and went and found a homeless guy who was more than happy to take our pizza, and thanked us profusely while enjoying a slice. ETA. We were well aware she just wanted to buy some drugs slash boots, that's why we told her to duck off. A while back after I lost my job. I was starving and went to the grocery store for just a few cheap things to last me a couple of days. At the register my card got declined. I apologized to the cashier and tried not to seem upset, because I could have sworn I had a few dollars in the bank. The woman in line behind me told me to grab the food and that she'd pay for it. I thanked her and she replied, you look like someone who would do the same if you could, and I hope that one day you will. Amazed by her kindness and how good it made me feel for a stranger to help me out while I was at my lowest, I promised myself I'd do the same. Once I got a new job, I was leaving work one day, and an older man in a wheelchair asked if I had any money for food. We were outside a sandwich shop, and I offered to go in and buy him whatever he'd like to eat. He told me to duck off, and rolled away into the night. TLDR, dude, I tried. I've helped out a mother trying to buy a pizza dinner for her three kids. They looked really hungry, and the mom was short maybe $10. She was frantically looking around in her purse and pockets, trying to come up with the cash. I gave her a 20 and told her to buy some breadsticks and sodas too. Her look of gratitude is something I'll never forget. On the other hand, I was once in some clothing store with my girlfriend, I don't remember which one, they all kind of blend together in my mind when a teenage girl walked up to me and demanded $10 so she could buy some lipstick. I refused, so she ran to her mother who basically chewed me out for refusing her precious baby. So basically, I won't give any charity to entitled souls. Who are these people? I can't imagine going up to a complete stranger demanding money. What the duck? I was at work a while back at a major retailer in the deep south. I had a gentleman come in and ask me about a laptop. The laptop cost $899. I explained the specs, gave him the lowdown on the warranty, etc. He let me wrap up my spiel, and looked at me and said, I'll give you $400 for it. This happens a lot, so I patiently informed him that this was impossible for me to do, and I do not designate prices. He looked at me and said, well, you just lost yourself a computer sale and left. I wish it ended there. I got off and was walking to my car, and as I got there, a truck comes flying into the parking lot, and it's this same gentleman as before. He whips into the parking spot next to mine and gets out. My metaphorical hackles were raised because this guy was driving so aggressively. He gets out and slams his door, and walks over to me. 
he looks at me and says, you'll sell that laptop to me for $300, or I'm going to get you fired for racism. I answered him and just said, so, I have no idea who you are, and I have no intention of selling you anything at all. I'm not even on the clock. If you have an issue, go into the store and ask for a manager. He swore explosively that his intimidation factor didn't work, and went into the store. I drove home and forgot about it. I get to work the next day, and find out he was arrested for trying to steal the shelf display. Feels good man jpeg. I had a mother approach me with her two kids a few months ago. She asked for some change, and I gave her a few bills. She thanked me, and then her daughter looked up and said something to the effect of, I guess we can eat tonight. It took me two seconds to decide on what I needed to do. I took them grocery shopping. I didn't even do shopping for myself that month yet, but I said, duck it. I got the mother in touch with a social worker at my facility, and assured her they would not take her kids away. They would help her in the meantime until she got up on her feet. I still talk with the family, and the kids are doing fine. I know my situation is different from the OPs, and they did the right thing in not helping this woman. Look at how nasty she reacted. Now I have an extended extended family and two young ones to play Pokemon with. Card games on motorcycles. I remember about 10 years ago, I had just moved to a new city for college, and I was definitely a starving student. I had a budget of $40 per week for food and transportation, and that was it. Anyway, one evening I'm walking from class to the bus stop, and I see a kid sitting in an alcove begging passers-by for money. A few things. He had a nice bike, new shoes, I had neither, and expensive sunglasses. So he sees me and asks if I have some spare change. Feeling charitable I reach into my wallet, and I see that I have $22, two singles and a 20. I take out the two singles and pass them to him, and he says, Oh. You aren't giving me the 20? At which point I took the two singles back, stuck them in my wallet, pocketed it, and walked off. While this moochie asshole says something akin to, come on, that's not cool. Can I please have the two dollars? Beggars can't be choosers, has never felt more appropriate. As a general rule, I never give money. I might give someone a bottle of water, or some food if they look like they need it, but never money. I was eating some bagels with a few of my friends, when a homeless man approached and asked for money to buy food. We had a bag of day olds that my friend bought, so we offered him his choice of those bagels. He looked at the bagels and said, I don't want your ducking bagels. I want cash. We told him we didn't have any cash on us, but would be more than happy to share the food we had with him. He just stared at me for a few seconds, and then started yelling profanities at me for not giving him money. I just told him that beggars can't be choosers, and that if he's not going to accept what we offer him, then he has no right to be upset about anything. Then the rest of the people eating on the patio took my side, and basically told him to get out of there, because none of them were going to give him a dime after that outburst. Once in line with my two kids, buying groceries midday in a nice place, the lady behind me interrupted the cashier asking if I found everything okay, with a loud, how about buying my groceries? When I kindly replied that I was sorry, but the kids practically ate me out of house and home, as it was at their age, she started her own ongoing monologue throughout my checkout, about how I ought to, I owed it to her for slavery, and other things. She finished with the polite goodbye off, don't worry, we gonna take what you owe us one way or another. You think you safe. We coming for you, karatas. Had I not already sent the kids to get water to avoid her earlier taunts, I might have had to address such a threat with them, but luckily I was able to walk away, and remember not to shop there in the future. I was in a bicycle shop getting a repair done, and some lady in her 20s came up to me and asked me to buy her a bike. I am not very prosperous looking, so I cannot imagine what she was thinking. I used to ride the bus to work when I lived in Fairbanks, Alaska. At the bus stop, every morning, this Alaskan tribal native bum, would bum a cigarette from me. Every single morning. One day I was out of smokes. He just kept asking, over and over again, 
and when I snapped at him that it was two days before payday, and I didn't have any ducking smokes, he pulls an almost full pack of Marlboros out of his pocket, and lights one up, then calls me a stingy white mother ducker and stumbled off. I was getting a prescription one night from Walgreens, I work late, and this was a 24 hour one, so I usually bustle inside around midnight after work, and try not to talk to the people hanging around outside. An old skinny guy was sitting on the sidewalk, homeless, and on my way out he calls to me, and says he is hungry. So hungry, he just wanted to eat, but the only thing open was McDonald's, and just his drive through, he didn't have a car. I don't know why, but I asked him what he wanted, and he said a Big Mac with no lettuce and a Coke with no ice. I told him I'd get it for him. Surprisingly he tried to hand me a ton of change for my trouble, which I refused, I wasn't going to give him a ride, I just went and got it and came back, since my kiddies was right across the road. When I came back and handed him a bag of food, having gotten a few bottles of water for him too. He didn't say, God bless you or anything I feel homeless people usually try to say, he just said, I didn't think you would come back. And he had tears in his eyes. Then he wished me a good night, and sat down to eat. No regrets. I found a wallet with $200 and several gift cards, while I was at work one day. It was a UGO wallet, so I figured some kid lost his birthday money, I turned it into the service desk and forgot about it. 30 days later, no one had claimed it, so I got to keep it. I was telling my friend about my good luck, and a friend of hers, not a friend of mine says, you should give me $20. I asked her why, cause I never punched you in the face all those times you were a bitch to me. It should be noted that I have always been kind to this extremely unpleasant girl, even when she was squatting my living room for several weeks. Since when does being charitable mean buying beer, DVDs, and candy? Hi I'm with the beer, movies, and candy foundation, and I just wanted you to know. For the low price of $5 a day you can ensure one unfortunate person who has to go without necessities such as beer, movies, and candy, will be provided with enough beer, movies, and candy that they may find the strength to carry on. You can make a difference in someone's life right now by calling 1-800-BEER-ME and making a donation. I gave this guy a free hot dog, and he took it and he threw it on the ground, and said he wouldn't be a part of my system. He told me he didn't need my charity, because he was an adult. About 10 years ago, I used to work for an old, greedy, mean guy. I was trying to get through school, but I had no choice but to work at the shitty restaurant he owned. It wasn't a chain restaurant, and he was the owner, so he got to be kind of crazy with it. He was obsessed with making the biggest profits, and would exploit his workers to do it for him. One day he wanted some new business ideas, and even though I worked in the kitchen, he still came to me asking for ideas. I didn't even have any, and I'd been kind of upset at his attitude lately, so I made up a bullshit story about a new kind of burger we could be selling. As expected, he told me that it was the dumbest thing he'd ever heard. I had nothing to do on my off hours the days I didn't have school. So me and a buddy thought it'd be hilarious to actually set up a lemonade stand like shop outside, and try to actually sell the product I'd proposed to my boss. They actually turned out to be quite a hit. Through word of mouth our new kind of burger spread in our local community. The downside is, my boss actually caught word of the side business I had, and being the greedy scumbag he is, he wanted to take over the small business I had set up. Some sort of charity he wanted I guess. He didn't want to buy it, he actually just wanted me to give it to him for the money. So I did. The burgers I'd sold to everyone had lasting effects on their tongue, and I knew Mr. Krabs would get in trouble for it instead of me. I eventually got my job back at my original place, even though I'd gotten in trouble with the boss. TLER, set up side business, boss wants me to give him money from my side business, I'm that charitable so I did.